Hey, welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is actually future Andre. Uh, the game you're about to watch, I recorded about a week ago on some of the test uh, Jinteki channels. Shout out to Noah for helping set that up. Uh, it's going to be a Geist game that tests out all three of the new cards uh, that we just spoiled in Spoilers Week. Really excited to play some new Geist, but unfortunately, when I built the deck list you see on the screen right here, I did forget to take into account that Creation and Control is going to be rotating out of the standard card pool alongside the Lunar Cycle, something I did remember that half. So unfortunately, this deck list does have Same Old Thing and Clone Chip both in it, so it's probably not the biggest example. It's actually not an example of it exactly a standard deck list. Uh, apologies for that. Um, I still think the game's interesting and it shows off all three of the new cards. This is actually also the first game that I've ever played that I use Prognostic Q-Loop in it, and I don't think I realized how easy it is to fire it on the corpse turn and use it a bit more aggressively. More, uh, You'll see it more aggressively if you watch the as games that were published on this channel a while ago. I just wanted to preface with that. Uh, I think this deck is easy to change. You can take out the same old things and clone chips. Maybe you can put reclaims in it. Uh, it's already a 47 card deck. I think at the time of filming, it was also like a 49 card deck. So I think getting a bit thinner wasn't an issue anyways. With all that aside, enjoy the game. Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. Thanks so much for tuning in. It is an exciting week. For Netrunner, we have Uprising, it is spoilers week, community spoilers specifically, and we have three cards that we had the pleasure of revealing on this channel, three criminal cards. If you want to know specifically uh, kind of my thoughts on them, uh, there's a review that uh, probably came out now a couple days before this. This is the first time I've had the, the, the chance to play them in uh well just to play these cards right now we're on jinteki.net shout outs to noah for helping set up this private uh space where you can try the cards before they're released um i'm playing against roberto from montreal also shout outs to roberto uh for joining roberto hasn't seen these cards just yet um uh, doesn't know what we're, exactly we're up to and we're gonna try them uh right now we're playing geist it's kind of a 49 card deck, which is definitely a mistake. Uh, we got to get that down, so we're going to try and figure it out. This opening hand's honestly not that bad. We have Technical Writer, we have Masterwork just to get the card draw doing, we have Spy Camera and Shiv. Now, generally in Geist, you want to open up with a Technical Trader, but I think this is actually good enough to keep just because we have that Masterwork draw engine. Best of luck. Have fun. So the new cards that came out, really cool criminal stuff, really exciting stuff for Geist as 419 basic criminal stuff all over it, but guys specifically. So we're going to be trying that out for sure. Roberto playing Polina, so we're going to be drawing a fair bit. Luckily, we can do a lot of it in one turn. And Celebrity Gift going to show us Breach Dome. That's some damage. Kakugo, some damage. Lacosta Grid, a really strong win condition we have to respect. And Geo Front and Thimble Rig. So we know in HQ there's Costa and NGO we can trash on top of a Breach Dome. So two good, one bad. But a lot of times with Geist, you just kind of want to set up first. So set up is what we will do. We want to zoom in once. Yeah, that's probably better. All right, let's get the writer down. I'll just start going through everything. So Masterwork, very strong card. We're playing a lot of hardware in this deck. So at the first time of turn, we get a draw card. We really want to find our hostage or a tech trader uh, and get going. So we can play the spy camera with push pressure on. We know we need either the crowbar or the, sp uh, what is it? Spike to get through either what's a thimble rig or a kakugo. We'll get the spy camera down and get this money going. So this deck is actually kind of weird. I'm not running any permanent breakers. Uh, it's actually only running Shiv, Crowbar, Spike, the break and enter suite, on top of Boomerang, a new card, and we have Kongamato and Gabahali, and not even three of, I think they're two of each. Again, this deck probably needs some optimization. Uh, setting up for a remote play, don't know if they have an agenda just yet. I'm assuming they're just playing standard Glacier stuff like, uh, Oh, installing the spy camera here was wrong. We should have installed a shiv or something because we could have installed this to draw a card with hardware. I think that's definitely a big misplay. We have another tech writer. We're going to set up nice and slow, I suppose. Uh, I don't want to show that we can get through the thimble rig, which we know they have. So let's just install this. Yeah, we definitely should have installed the spy camera because this is only once per turn. So. This is a good setup card. It's a bit slow, uh, but we definitely are going to be installing a fair bit of programs and hardware. Install advanced advanced. Looking like it's the NGO front. If that is a Nisei, that's actually pretty dirty. Uh, we don't want to get that through. I love double advancing a Nisei. Uh, we do have the tech writer, which is actually really good to see at this point. We have Gabali, which is good pressure for remote. Oh, it's 
probably against this sort of ice suite i don't honestly know maybe just having the code gate breaker is enough it's cheaper and it also gets a technical writer fire which i kind of like a fair bit we might want to pop this one real soon for five credits in a card just so we don't spend too much of the game down at one credit especially in the area of the game looks like five advances that's uh obakata okay so we didn't steal that we know they still have an ngo in hand and a lacosta surprised they didn't jam the lacosta last turn we want to make sure how we're drawing. We can always look at the top of their deck. We can probably, we we can't, we can actually get through that. We know it's a Kakugo or a Thimble Rig. So it's an IPO off the top, okay? So they're going to have a lot of money. We really need to get our engine up and running. Again, good reason to have a thinner deck. So we did a double draw. I think we can probably draw once more and install two cards. We have a Boomerang. That's a new card. A really good pressure on a remote. This also draws us a card when we install it. I think we can just install all our breakers here. Uh, we're actually going to have an MU issue because we don't have any link. We're only a one link. So these are actually taking a proper MU. So if we want to install more breakers, not that we have them yet, but we are going to have to worry about that. Uh, we're going to worry about getting these into the cloud. So NGO is the real threat here. Berto only needs to score two more agendas to close this game off. I'm assuming they have three Obakates, maybe an SSL, three Niseis, a Philotic Entanglement, pretty standard. Lacosta Grid looks like it's in server one, also could be Rashida. Philotic Entanglement might be the worst case here. Uh, and I think we're just going to pop this and start going. Alright, we have Fenris, which lets us double install. Very strong ability. It's not going to be active this turn. It's unfortunately a pretty expensive card, and we're not really up and running yet. Uh, there's a chance that we want just maybe like a, a cyber, what's it called? A Rizeki in this deck, just to get that drip. Sometimes these are in the cloud and you don't have to worry about things. So I already drew once. We can install this to draw again. Boomerang. Oh, we have to choose an installed piece of ice. Oops, I forgot about that. Okay, so now they know that this ice we can get through if it has two subroutines. If it has three, we can just let one fire. So maybe we take some DNA tracker. This card, not very good against uh, Anansi, but a lot of other stuff is actually pretty sweet. And so install this we'll get the Haley ability it won't fire this turn next turn we can install these two for three credits or we can install just maybe the Gabali and the same old thing and we actually can install another breaker which is really unfortunate for clicking for credit here feels terrible oh boy so sentries is probably the thing we have to worry about most a Nazi is a five string sentry so we're gonna want another program on the table uh, there's not a lot of ice in this deck. I think that has more than three centuries, more than three subroutines, and all the breaking enter suite does three subroutines. And that does look like the Costa for sure. So anything they jam in the remote has a chance of being a Nisei. Uh, even just like a Bio Vault is probably pretty good in these sort of builds, so we're gonna have to keep that down. Second piece of ice. IPO, not jamming the NGO front, which would get good Lacosta value. Luckily, this is another turn for us to set up. Clicking to draw, and we have the back. This is the first time we use a hardware during a run. It lets us recur cards later in the game. Really strong effect, and at the end of the game, your deck becomes only trash abilities, which for Geist, really powers you through. So getting to that point is actually really important. Uh, we still don't have a link yet. We can install two resources if we like. Not too bad whatsoever, just with the Haley ability. And we can drop once more. We're not going to need the second masterwork. And we have another tech trader, which is pretty sweet. So we can double install Kongamato and tech trader and then start running maybe. We want to maybe put some pressure on. We know there's a Breach Dome in hand. We know there's a Lacosta in hand. Or sorry, an NGO front. And server one looks to be Lacosta. I'm assuming it's more likely Lacosta than a, like, I don't know, a Marcus Batty or something like that. So in our deck, we still have... We have the Hushik in hand, actually. We might want to consider the Hushik. The Hushik would see a fair bit of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have to use one of these. This is two. This is two. Install the card in server one. Looks like there's a Breach Dome in there. Now it's Lacosta setting up for some Lacosta value. And so this might be Lacosta NGO front. We probably have to pressure this. So. Kagamato and Gabali will get through Anansi. I think we might just want to install a, two cards and then run the remote just so that we get things going and we get our econ and we get our our, uh, our draw working. Yeah, that seems fair. 
So we can run server one. It looks like we have no money now, but these will be trashed for two credits a pop. Gives us ability to, to contest and trash some stuff. NGO front, uh, bio vault, and need two credits. And it's gonna spend, force Roberto to spend some money. Now we wanna keep some of our one costers around just so that we can deal or get a Hushik off, but Hushik's not that great right now. We need enough cards to be able to uh, steal Obakata. That's an Excalibur. Honestly, that's fine. We don't need to use a thing on this. Uh, it's unlikely that we're going to want to run remote twice in a turn. So at least we know that we have to deal with this. And honestly, this deck will struggle to deal with this. I think uh, we can only use our Kongamatos, our Gabalis, and our Boomerang. Actually, maybe struggle isn't the right word. Looks like we're in. Unfortunately, we can't. Oh, okay. So they're resing the Thimble Rig. I'm going to use the Crowbar. <coughs> oh, uh, I'm past it. Let's redo that. I'm past it, so it won't let me use the crowbar. So I'm just gonna do undo the click here. It's easier than doing it manually. It might be Marcus Batty, Lacosta, but I think it's actually NGO friend. So this, we can let fire again. Uh, we don't plan to run twice this turn. So now they wanna run it so that we can crowbar it. Okay. So break the end of the run. Get two credits, draw a card. Spike camera, pretty sweet, draws us a card. We can also install it here for one credit to get a token on the back. And we know also the symbol rig will be marked. I wonder if it's gonna work where it moves around and it's gonna update this thing here. We could have considered boomeranging it. Honestly, it might have been better to boomerang it actually. Yeah, I think it was better to boomerang it. So two credits, that's enough to trash NGO. That's Lacosta. It's a bit expensive. I think it's four to trash, yeah. And Rashida, we'll get rid of her. All right, so installing spy camera will draw us a card, drew our second boomerang, another really good reason to get rid of boomerang, or to use a boomerang. And uh, we can look at the top card. We know we're definitely able to get through this ice. I think we might just want to drop. Okay, we're almost rolling. We're almost getting somewhere. So we know the server isn't particularly that good. It's a Lacosta, so we're gonna have to run it a fair bit, which is actually really difficult with this breaker suite. So we're really gonna want triggers on uh, uh, on back because we have to recur our cards. Again, we don't actually have conventional breakers. So let's go. Let's run server one. This can fire. And we're gonna use boomerang to break through this and we can choose to shuffle it. And honestly, I think we will. Ah, actually, maybe we won't. We have one in hand and we have another in the deck, so we're gonna boomerang this. So uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't think the back is automated right now, so we're just gonna counter, counter, power, one, and have a counter on it. So they pop the NGO front, they have a lot of credits, that's fine. Okay, we don't trash that. Shuffle, copy, boomerang back in the stack. We could consider doing it. It's not the best draw right now, so I don't think we need to. Uh, we can set up a double install here. We can install two Gabahalis. We're gonna need a bit more credits to do that. We can draw once. Okay, so now we have two hardware to install. Uh, we have to choose what thing to mark with Boomerang. If we don't actually mark the Excalibur at some point, I guess we can always Excal uh, Kongomato it. Uh, it can be a bit tricky um, because they could get a, a border control or something on the remote. So let's install Masterwork first to see if we draw another hardware. We didn't, so now we can install a Boomerang. We have to mark a piece of ice. We could set up for the legwork here. Uh, I don't think they have to Breach Dome anymore. I'm assuming that's the card in Archives. So put some pressure on HQ, which is good. And from here, again, we still don't have that Link. I think we have four Link cards in our deck. Uh, again, our deck should be a bit thinner than what it is right now. And we can choose to install another program. I think we'll just do this, the Shiv, and next turn, I will probably Ice Spy Camera and then pop up with Technical Writer and see how things are. But we are actually rolling now. We might want to just go straight into the Hushook here next turn. How many one costers do we have? A couple. Enough. Enough one costers. Spy Camera is cool. We can also use Master Brick to draw hardware that we draw during a run, which will get us tokens on the back. And HQ Ice getting protecting, we can get the Kabali through it. So they're putting Thimble Rig on HQ, or on R&D, excuse me, that's really good. We know we can get through this. We're assuming this is the Kakugo then. So we're gonna take one damage if we go through it. Uh, border control could be an issue, but I think we saw everything they drew, unless, yeah, because they, they celebrity gift us. So we know this has to be a Kakugo. I think we definitely wanna pressure this though. 
and they're putting some pressure on here, so we can get through this ice. Pre raising a bio vault plays around falsified, but Lacosta doesn't play around falsified. <laughs> Damn, whoops. <laughs> so I think it's an accidental click on JNet. We'll res your cards. So we know what that is. Speed advance. Uh, ooh. Let's say you're playing around falsified. I know Roberto doesn't play too much on Jinteki.net. Okay, so that bio vault needs to go down because we are planning to Hushik through this. Now Kakango will do a damage uh, that can get to the Hushik. Obviously, I can trash the Hushik, which is a problem. We definitely want to trash this. We're going to have two credits to do it for sure. So I can think we can go ahead and run server one. We also just look at the top of the deck first. It draws us a card, uh, and that means that we can protect the Hushik a bit. Same old thing also is well protected. So let's look at the top card of R&D. It's a slot machine. Okay, that's cool. We can also install the spy camera mid run to draw a card, uh, which is is good. It means that we can get a counter on the back. Pay one to install. Yeah, okay. You have no hardware in hand. We could have done double install if we planned our turn a bit better. Uh, this should fire. Counter power one. I think I'm just gonna copy this. Is this add or it changes? Oh shit, it changes it. Okay, so we can't run again. I'm assuming they're gonna res the Kakugo here. It is a Kakugo. Uh, we'll spike it. More money, more card draw. We have the hostage, which at this point could get a Cyber Trooper Talent, which is Link, which is good. It could also get the last Tech Trader, which honestly might not be necessary. We lost a Gabali. It's a good card. At least we can recur it at some point. And we can trash this. We could have popped another Spike Camera just to. Uh, what was on top of R and D again? <laughs> to uh, to be able to trash the Lacosta. This is Lacosta, which we can't trash. Okay, yeah, so we could hostage here if we really wanted to. Let's get our Street Peather down. So what do we have? Sport Topper, that's good. It's another Street Peather and another Boomerang. Unfortunately, if we trash the Boomerang here, we're going to lose it. Uh, we could get into our heap and then recur with the back, which isn't amazing. But it's something we can do. So we can always hostage here. We I have a lot of money on the Tech Rider. We could just hostage here. Might not be the worst, but Cyber Trooper Talad actually is pretty good with the Link. Okay, it costs too much money though. I think we may just want to pull the last tech trader. And from there we should be good to go. Uh we know the top card is not something we want with Hushik. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. End turn. Let's do that before scarcity ruins us. Okay. So now every time we trash something, we'll make three credits. This is a restricted card, mind you. And we want to use hardware during a run, so I don't even know if it makes sense to run archives just to pop the spy camera. That seems bad. We have uh, we have two copies of the, I keep forgetting the name, Prognostic Q Loop, which is a really easy way to fire to get counters on the black. Because if you just look at the top two cards of your deck, that's a using ability. That's incredibly strong. Marcus Batty is a problem if we don't break Excalibur in this remote. We're going to keep the pressure on. Another card, another piece of ice. If it's a border control, we know what order we're going to have to break on. And advance means it could be a lot of things. Um, we have no money. I think we actually might just start by popping the technical writer. It's going to give us 13 credits on a card, which is probably a good place to start. We don't actually need 13 credits, but it means we can. We can also like install the sports hopper, which is probably OK. We can install the sports hopper. Um, and then we can pop a mid run to get the back down. It also will draw us a card, which we could in theory install with Haley. We don't really have a good Haley double install here, so we'll get the sports. Uh, this. Oh yeah, we can't. I thought they changed that ruling that we can actually install the sports hopper as long as we can install it with the money. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that you get the three credits from the tech trader so you can install the sports hopper. Okay, well let's just assume we're wrong. Gain 13 and click. All right, so we do have a double install here. Let's install the sports hopper. We can Haley from hand. Oh, we'll masterwork first, I guess. Install another hardware. Yeah, we'll install that. Now we can contest the remote if it's Obakata. It's not that bad. Uh, what are we going to need? We can deal with. We actually can't deal with the Kakugo. We haven't found a clone chip yet. We can also just Hushik, but I think we definitely want to contest the remote. So we can install a spike run it. That's probably good enough. Uh, yeah, okay. 
So we have two runs here. Uh, no, we have two runs here, which is important. If this is a border control and they just pop it. They have a lot of money. We still haven't seen any of the bigger ice. Uh, Anansi? Oh yeah, slot machine, we should have known that. Okay, this card's actually fascinating. It shows us what's on top of our deck, which is really good information for Geist. Uh, so we can't actually break it. So roll them bones, please. So we're gonna see the next three cards on our stack and that can give them advancement counters, which is pretty strong. Hardware, clone chip into prognostic Q loop, hardware into freedom, which is an event. That freedom is actually really important. Uh, all right, so it looks like they're gonna gain three. We're gonna lose three. That's okay. And this deck easily could have like Abignail and Damara because they are trash abilities, which is pretty good. So here, I don't think there's any reason to break it unless we're going to run R&D. Let's see what's on the top of R&D first to see if that's important. It's an NGO front on top of R&D. Honestly, it's something we can want to trash. Actually, no, it's a pretty bad draw for them. So on top of our deck is a Prognostic Q-Loop, which is sweet. Oh, they can let those subs fire. Oh, we used a hardware. Hold on. So this will occur six cards. That's nutty good. And we'll break this. That's going to draw the the prognostic, which is really strong. We lost a tech trader. That's okay. I don't think we're going to need that. Our money's in a pretty good spot. We actually can go ahead and trash. Oh, buy vault. Really strong. Oh, we can actually go ahead and trash this thing. I don't think our money's going to matter too much. We can't run. We know they're drawing an NGO front. Let's get the prognostic down. Actually, clone chip is much more valuable. Could have done a double install there, but we can always double install these two. And I think at this point we'll just probably Hushik. Uh, we know Freedom's off the top, so we can always like spy camera or uh, yeah, probably spy camera. That's kind of a wasty spy camera on the turn that you're asking a Hushik. Uh, slot machine. Oh yeah, this Thumbelberg actually does a lot of work considering we need to spend breakers on. We don't have any permanents. Otherwise we'd break this with for like what, one credit with Abigail. Rising NGO front. Pretty sure you meant to advance that. Falsified. <laughs> a hell of a card. <laughs> yeah, if you click on it. So that's obviously a big deal. Uh, Legwork also would see all of the hand. I don't know if they would have jammed if they had an agenda. Uh, so that's why I don't play JNet. I think we probably want to get this double install down here. We can pop the sports hopper so we can draw the cards and we can hushik into it. Prognostic Q loop, really cool card. So we'll do masterwork first. We'll install sports hopper. We'll play the freedom, unfortunately. Oh yeah, we just get a card job. We could have done a single install. And fortunately, we don't have the money to play both of these. So I think we're just going to go ahead and sports hopper here. Uh, we're already going to do something during a run. So this is okay. This gets eight. We draw a lot of cards. I will play this. That's a current. Means we get one more agenda point if we steal an agenda this turn. I'm really hoping we're going to steal an agenda this turn. So... Uh, Let's go Hushik. So let's do Prognostic Q-Loop first. We look at the top two cards. We can install a clone chip. We don't need to do that because we already now just fired this. Uh, we already just fired. We used the hardware during a run. So the back gets a counter. Uh, roll the bones. Apparently it was hardware program hardware. So we could have broke the first one, which Actually, it might matter here. There's no agenda that needs credits to steal, is there? We're going to see some cards. Six cards. Digital rights. Oh, wow. Nothing. DRM, IPO, hedge fund, border control, IP block, border control. Okay, so we know they're on border control. It makes a lot of sense with Excalibur. We can access one of these cards. DRM is also really important to know. It means that we have a reason to, to put HQ pressure on. Again, uh, now we also just shuffled the deck so we don't know what's on top of R&D. Now we can look. It's a Rashida. Honestly, it might be worth trashing. Uh, this card's not that necessary. Uh, Cyber Trooper Talent has maybe dubious value in this deck. There's a chance that Clone Chip might just be better. But it's really cool because it gives a link. If we pop this card, we won't have any more link. It's a permanent link card, which is kind of cool. Uh, huh. Huh. All right, let's try that. So we know Rashida's gonna be probably jamming in the remote. If they don't advance it, that's what it is. 
And then Rashida whiffed, but we can always just do same old thing into who shook. Uh, and then at that point, we can refresh and go in again. Install card. If there's no advancements, it's quite... Oh, shit. Double advance? So two NGOs are out. I reckon we have to go for this. I reckon we do have to go for this. So we can break this. We can break that with the Kangamato. We have one more spike in the deck. There's a chance that we can install it mid-run. Let's look at the top first. We're going to use a hardware dinger run anyways. It's an IPO. Okay. So there's a Rashida in hand and an unknown card. We have this in hand. There's a chance if we see a program on the top of the deck, which is very unlikely, we can do a double install. We could just do a double install here. That's yeah, probably good enough. And we'll run the server. We're going to have enough cards that we can steal. Uh, let's Kangamato this. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. That actually fucks up the order. Uh, we'll do Prognostic Q loop. Top two cards of stack. It's Sports Hopper in the back. Okay. We don't want to lose the back to the damage. We don't want to install a, a hopper here. This thing now recurs 10 cards, which they'll all be trash cards, so it's a lot of value. This we can let all the subs fire. It hasn't seen a border control yet, so this has actually not been something we had to break. We'll pop through this bad boy. So we draw the hopper, and we know the top card of our deck is a back, which is really important. So we're going to lose one to damage. We lost the hopper, not the best card in this situation. Successful run as an SSL. So we are now on four points. That's obviously huge. We know they have a Rashida in hand. They have a lot of credits still. Um, and there's an IPO on top of their deck. So I'm assuming you're jamming a Rashida next turn. Seems like a safe play. I think we might just want to get these down because we want to use them uh, before we lose them. And then we can shuffle them back in our deck. So I think we're just going to install both of these. Because we can recur only trashable cards. Right now we recur 10. Next turn we'll definitely run or use a hardware during a run so that we can shuffle 12 in. At that point, it's only just breakers and boomerangs. And eventually our boomerangs are like really strong because they're just what our deck is over and over again. Draw, draw. Again, we know IP on Rashida. Looks like the Rashida has a small chance of being, uh, uh, what's it called? Flooding Entanglement. Small chance. We can double install here, but then actually it's difficult to steal, uh, what's it called? It's difficult to steal, uh, because we only have four cards. Do we just do, do we just do same old thing into, um, we can win. We just need four cards. I guess we can draw our deck. We can do same old thing into, uh, Hushik and probably win. All right, same old thing, Hushik. It's going to draw us a card. Let's do prognostic first. Top card of our deck. Is a shiv? It's only top card of our deck is a shiv. We can install it for one credit. We don't really need to. What are we on? Six? So it's only one card, so we're just going to lose three credits. And now we're going to access a fair few cards. We have exactly four in hand. Uh, we're not going to access multiple cards because it's Hushik. We only access one card here. So you look at six, you reveal them, and you access one. Uh, so we just need to find three-pointer, which we didn't. Ah, so the question is whether we steal a Philotic. So we know this is probably Rashida or the Nisei. Obviously, Nisei is good. Philotic represents an unadvanceable card, which is also really important. But Nisei with Excalibur seems scary. I think we'll steal the Nisei. Okay. So we also just shuffled again. So I think we can just look at the top card. Masterwork will draw our last card. Install another hardware from Grip. Yeah, we should. Oh, actually, maybe we shouldn't because then we can't steal Obokata. Whatever. What is it? This gives just three credits. Doesn't have a card to draw. It's a thimble rig. Good to know. And I think this turn we will just cycle the back here. I think 12 is enough and we have another back in hand. So let's remove this from the game. We have to choose 12 cards with trash abilities on it. Luckily, it filters it for us already. So this is really cool because now we can just like mass draw through our deck so aggressively. And it's just all the money. Oh, it doesn't filter for us. So same old thing is really important because it lets us play Hushik over and over again. Uh, we want to be able to get through Kakago. We'll put three breakers. That's fine. Um... Am I clicking on them? It's hard to tell. I can't tell. Uh, spy cameras are okay. 
So I think we're on four. Uh, Sport Topper is also definitely good. Let's get some spy cameras in there just so we can cycle through a deck really aggressively. I don't think we need this Street Peddler. Um, boomerangs are good. They'll shuffle through our deck a fair bit. Uh, what else is good? I honestly don't know where we're at. Kapali is fine. I don't know what number we're at. We'll just keep clicking on spy cameras. I think I've already clicked on these spy cameras. All right, so we did some commands to get that to work. I think I didn't click on all the cards exactly I wanted. I think we wanted the boomerangs to come back. I think that's the only one. And uh, the spike. I think we put it back too many spy cameras. It's kind of hard to, to, to fix that. There's only 11 cards in here. Okay, hold on. Let's try one more. It should be 12, right? So it was Rashid and the remote. Uh, let's put, I don't know. There, okay, 12. So we'll shuffle this. Okay, card on remote. Don't know what this is. Could be the symbol rig that was on top. Install, install. So it looks like it's probably Nisei into Rashida. Uh, Nisei, sorry, into La Costa Grid, which is very scary. We also haven't seen a Marcus Batty, which could be definitely there. Uh, so at this point, I think we just want to sports hopper out. Sports hopper out. Uh, we have to be able to break a couple of these things. Uh, we have probably enough breakers. Let's sports hopper to start. Okay, so we haven't drawn into our same old thing yet, which is obviously very important. I think we might want to double install Shiv into Spike and then we can run the remote. What's happening? Oh, they're changing the ice. Okay, so they changed the ice. Sweet, perfect, cool, cool. So they can tax our our our, uh, our cards by firing Excalibur. Uh, if we don't break the Excalibur, well, not even if this is a border control, they can really tax out our cards a fair bit uh, because well, we can't go through it too much. We have to always break these things over and over again. Luckily, we have two spike cameras. I think we definitely want to get the shiv down, um, the spike down. Excuse me. And there's a big chance that we actually can install a card from the top of our deck with Prognostic Q Loop, which would be good. Uh, we might want to get the back down. I think we can maybe hold off one turn because we're going to need our clicks for this remote. Because if we win on this remote, we win the whole game. Let's try it. But we definitely want to get the back down. Because we're going to have to recur our cards if we can't win. Again, we only need one agenda. So that's the border control. Okay, so this is something we'd want to... Or don't want, we definitely want to break this one. And that means that we definitely want to break the Excalibur. So prognostic Q-loop. I clicked the wrong order. So we look at the top two stacks. It's a boomerang and same old thing. So this is really cool because we can, in theory, install over this boomerang to get a boomerang in play. Uh, boomerang is flexible. It lets us deal with a couple stuff. We're going to be drawing that boomerang now, though, because the order... Uh, so we got through that. We have the boomerang in hand. So next run we can install from hand, which is pretty cute as well. We're gonna have to crowbar this. It's gonna draw the same old thing, which is great. We can't same old thing into Hushuk. And if they score the Nisei, the Hushuk's gonna get a lot harder. So this actually we will break. So they can't hard end the run us. Do we not have a, sp oh, we used the crowb, right. I guess we're gonna clone chip into crowbar. Man, so many cards, so many credits. Hey, wait, where'd it go? Oh, here it is, of course. So obviously we're drawing our whole hand. Not great. Uh, we can always legwork here after if it doesn't work. We lost a spy camera, that seems okay. We probably wanted to install uh, masterwork here. Uh, we Masterwork, we want to install double spy camera, something like that, or only single spy camera. Okay, so now we only have to break these two. Uh, we can we can do it. We can definitely do it. So let's do it. We can only shuffle this if we've used it. So unfortunately, we're just going to trash it. That's okay, I think. Uh, it should let us install this. Um, I don't know why it doesn't. I'm going to go ahead and trash this manually, but you can always install over unique cards, barring consoles. So I'm just going to trash that manually because we're going to install this on, uh, well, I guess, Masterwork. Uh, we can pick a piece of ice. I think we're gonna install it on the Kakugo. Uh, so this we have to break. This, we can let fire. Honestly, eh, it's probably best we let it fire. That we can end the run. Trash ability, three credits and a card. 
It'll keep going. We lost our same old thing. Obviously, that's terrible because that's the way that we can play Hushik over again. So we're going to have to back in. But it's likely that we win on this one. Lacosta grid. We'll trash that. Server one. Nisei Mark two. Found it. Shuffle boomerang back. Yeah, thank you. Good game. Awesome. We had our sweet. Once we get rolling, we have an absurd amount of credits. Once you get to the end of the deck, oh my god, the back is so good. We had too many cards. Obviously, we could have been more aggressive with Masterwork installing uh, spy cameras over and over again. Um, that's awesome. Whenever a run begins, it's not the first time a run, so we can get this one dead. This one's better. Yeah, we recorded a game before this where I couldn't get off the ground at all. Yeah, quite a, quite a lot bit better. Uh, once you get rolling, it's super cool. The back shuffling in so your whole deck just draws itself is nutty oh man that's so cool and he saw the strength of all the new cards obviously prognostic lets us fire once a turn you can also install a card from the top of your deck and you can control which of those two cards it is and uh then you can double install with Haley. uh masterwork draws you cards which is pretty sweet uh you might not need that much card draw it might be too much card draw i'll be honest and you can play cards like forger other stuff like that uh, there's a lot as well Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you liked that game. We'll be back in a week or so to play these cards live on JetTechie.net. Again, all the cards will be releasing on December 16th, so do stay tuned for that. Ciao.